Hey guys, Tyler Berger here with Bass Fishing HQ, and today is all about the flat side crankbait. When do you fish it, where do you fish it, and how do you fish it? Stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. So the flat side crankbait can come in a lot of different shapes and sizes, but for the most part, a flat side crankbait looks just like this one that I'm holding here. And like the name sounds, it is a very flat, slender crankbait. And the thing about this particular crankbait is the vibration is what we call tight, okay? It's a very tight wiggle. It's not a bigger wobble that you get with some other traditional like square bill type crankbaits or deeper diving crankbaits. It's a very tight wiggling crankbait. It's similar to a rattle trap in its tightness of its wobble. Now there's definitely some situations where it seems like a flat sided crankbait is the best thing to throw. Now with that being said, guys, there are no rules in bass fishing. And I really say that in basically all my videos. I really wanna bring this point across is that bass are gonna be where you find them and, and how you catch them, right? And that sounds really kinda of like stupid, but there are no rules. Sometimes you think the bass are gonna be deep or they should be deep and you find them shallow or sometimes they should be biting something that has a tight wiggle and it's really the bigger wobble that is triggering them. So just keep that in mind, but there are situations where it seems like the flat side really shines and I wanna talk about those right now. So let's first talk about when to throw a flat side crankbait. Now when it comes to a flat side crankbait, it seems like colder water temperatures are really where this bait shines. I'm gonna say anything from about 45 to 55 degrees, whether that's in the spring during the pre-spawn or in the fall when the water temperature is starting to cool. It seems like that is when the flat sided crankbait shines. Now in cold water, typically everything is not moving quite as fast. Fish aren't moving quite as fast. They're a little bit more lethargic. Bait fish are the same way, crawdads are the same way. Most things are cold blooded, so their metabolism slows and it makes them move slower. And with that being said, they're not moving as much water, which is why that flat side crankbait works really well in cold water. When it's coming through the water column, it's not moving a lot of water either. It has that tight wiggle like we talked about, and that is one of the reasons why in colder water situations, this bait really shines. Now, can it work in warmer or, or hot water during the summer? Yes, but sometimes other crankbaits, other bigger wobbling crankbaits might work better in those situations. While again, in cold water, this bait really seems to shine. Now, with that being said, there's only a few colors that I really like to throw of this bait. And basically, in the pre-spawn, I'm typically gonna throw a crawdad style crankbait, whether that's a natural crawdad or whether that's like a really bright red crawdad, that's gonna depend on the water color. If it's muddier, I'm gonna throw the brighter baits. If it's a little bit more clean or clear, I'm gonna throw the more natural colored baits. Now, the other color that I like is chartreuse. And chartreuse for me is primarily for muddy water situations and in situations where you have smallmouth. Smallmouth just tend to like chartreuse for whatever reason. They also like red. And so in smallmouth situations, I really like that chartreuse color. Now pretty much any other time I'm not throwing red or I'm not throwing chartreuse, I'm gonna throw a shad type color like this. Uh, this is gonna work during the spring, it's gonna work really well during the fall when the bass are feeding heavily on the young of the year shad. So now let's talk about where to throw this bait. I'm gonna say that the best place to throw a flat sided crankbait is on creek channel swing banks that are located inside major creek arms on any given lake. That's really the best situation. Typically on a creek channel swing bank, you're gonna have a rockier type bank, maybe a rock transition. You're also gonna have some wood lay downs mixed in here and there, but on that rock is probably the best time to throw a flat sided crankbait. Now, like I said earlier, it seems like cold water is the best time to throw a flat side crankbait. Also, cold water is a great time to target rock when you're bass fishing. Those rocks will, will warm up a little bit more and it may be just a degree or two more, but that's gonna attract fish to that rock in cold water. 
So another great place to throw this is on any type of riprap or bridge type structure that you're gonna have. Any type of riprap bank, it's gonna work really, really well in those situations, whether the rock is really big or maybe it's more like softball or baseball style rock. Those type of areas are great places to throw a flat side crankbait. Another place that I really like to throw flat side crankbait is on secondary points. And a secondary point is a great pre-spawn staging area. If you guys want to learn more about early spring bass fishing, you can click on the link right here and watch my early spring bass fishing guide that'll show you everything you need to know about bass fishing in early spring. Now let's talk about how you fish this bait. When it comes to the equipment that I really like to use, I'm typically going to use about 10 pound test fluorocarbon with this bait. I'm going to use a seven foot medium action rod. Now that can be a fiberglass composite rod or that can be a graphite rod. If I'm fishing in colder water, which I typically am doing with this bait, sometimes it's a little bit better to use a graphite rod in this situation because the graphite rod, rod will actually help you hook those fish a little bit better. And the reason being is a fish's mouth is going to be tougher during the winter. And if it's tougher, you're going to need a little more oomph to get that hook penetrated through the fish's mouth. So I'm gonna fish this on a seven foot rod and I really like to have a slower gear ratio reel in this situation. I'm talking about anything in the 5.4 to one to 6.3 to one gear ratio. Something pretty slow and that's one of the biggest keys to fishing this bait is I like to fish it pretty slow. I like to cast it at the bank, literally landing it within a foot or so from the, the edge of the water and I just like to crank this bait down and sometimes you can catch bass on just kind of a medium to slow crank. And sometimes what's best to do is kind of sweep the rod. So you'll be reeling the bait, you're sweeping it, and then you're letting it go. And what that bait is doing is it's, it's going across the bottom, bouncing on everything, and then it just stops and it raises a little bit. And then it continues to go. And sometimes when that bait is going and it hits something and it stops for a minute and you just let it rise, bam, that's when that bass gets it. So keep that in mind, that's really the two ways that I like to fish it. Either kind of a steady pace, about a medium pace, or where I really like to kind of just sweep the rod and let that bait kind of go, come back, and then keep going. So guys, I hope that that helps you to understand flat side crankbaits a little bit better. It really shines in cold water, it really shines around rock, and I really like to fish it a little bit slower and letting it pause from time to time. Like this video if you enjoyed it, comment below if you have any questions, and please subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.